In this video, we'll teach you how to make this video inside text intro in Wondershare Filmora. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get updates on our new videos. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. So first of all, go to File, open Project Settings, and make sure we're on Full HD resolution with 60 FPS. Next, let's add the background image to the timeline. You can add any background image as you like, and background must be 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution. Now, double click on the background and decrease the opacity down to 70%. Then go to Color tab and change the temperature, tint, contrast, saturation, and brightness according to your image, just to make it look more cinematic. Next, go to Titles tab and bring default title to the timeline. Type your text, choose your font, and then change its size to something like this. Here we choose Montserrat Extra Bold and 280 size. Adjust the text space to 6. Zoom out the text to occupy the full screen. Find the color fill on the left side and change its color to green on the color board. Press OK and go back to the main editing window to export it and name it as First Text. Let's open a new project with the same project settings. Go to Sample Color and bring White Color to the timeline. Go to 2 seconds forward, add the same background image to the timeline right behind the Sample Color clip, double click on the background image to bring out the setting panel, change the color settings to make it brighter. Here we decrease the temperature to negative 10. Meanwhile, increasing the saturation and brightness to 50. Save the change and go back to Main Editing window. Now go to Transitions tab, search for Push Transition, and add it between white layer and background. Again, export this video, and let's name it as Transition. Open a new project with the same project settings. Go to Sample Colors and bring white color to the timeline. Then bring default title to the timeline. Double click on the title, open Advanced Panel, change the text color to green, and then type any text you like. Pick your favorite font and size of the text, adjust the text space if you need by this icon. Save the setting. We export the video and name it Temporary this time. Again, open a new project, bring the background image to the timeline, double click on the image, and change the saturation down to negative 100 to make it look black and white. Bring Temporary File into the timeline. Make sure both clips are in the same duration. Double click on Temporary Clip. Then you can find Chroma Key section under Video tab. Enable this option and change the Edge Feather to 0. Now go to the Transform section and change the scale of background to match the tile in a good way. Export this video and let's name it as Second Text this time. Last, we have to import all the files we just create. Go to Sample Colors and bring black color to the timeline. Then locate in one second and add transition video on the timeline right behind sample color. Now go to Transitions tab, search for Push Transition, and add it to the timeline. Add our first text to the second layer of timeline and set the one second position as its starting point. Again, go to Transition tab and search for Push and add it from the beginning of first text. Now double click on it and enable the chroma key option. Then change the edge feather and edge thickness to zero. Go to 4 seconds 30 frames, split the first text video and add another new default title right after it. Double click on the default title, go to advanced option, delete the existing text and click on this icon here. Then add the same background we're using for a while. Now add a text and type your channel name, same as in second text video which we exported. Now go to transitions tab and this time search for row split transition and add it between first text and default title. Double click on the transition 
change the transition duration to 1 second. Go to 5 seconds and 30 frames. And now add our second text which we just exported. Again, go to Transitions tab, search and add the same row split transition between default title and second text. Also, make sure that the transition duration automatically is set to 1 second. So we are finally done, and let's see the preview. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video and leave your comment below. Bye!